The true value to New Zealand for honeybees is not honey production, as we might all think, because it's what we eat. Honey production is only worth about $170 million to New Zealand in export earnings. It's all the pollination bees do, and that's been estimated to be worth over $6 billion. Better Bees Research Limited is a honey bee livestock improvement program with the goal of producing a good quality commercial honey bee for New Zealand beekeepers. Um, the company started about 10 years ago when local beekeepers here in Otago Southland realised they had a real problem with their honey bee stock. They could no longer bring honey bees in from the North Island and other places because of varroa and movement controls and they discovered that the stock they had was deteriorating. So a group of 12 beekeepers got together and decided to set up a bee breeding program. A lot of people will ask us why we do artificial insemination in honeybees. And that's a really good question because it's not an easy thing to do. It's not like a cow, they're quite a lot smaller. Um, so the, the reason is because is bee genetics are really difficult and the, the bee's strategy in the wild um, is to diversify all, all the time. For livestock and for, for honey production and for pollination, that's not necessarily a good thing because to maximise um, the pollination and the collection of honey, there's specific traits that those bees need to have. Um, to have hives and orchards where there's people working, we want nice gentle bees. So by being able to control and the mating that we're doing with artificial insemination, then we can concentrate those beneficial traits um, like gentleness for working in, in um, the bees or when they're in an orchard, like maximising the honey production, like disease control, disease resistance so the bees aren't susceptible. We need to do the artificial insemination to keep those traits within our population and build them up. Then what our, our customers and our, our um, shareholders do is they take those artificially inseminated queens that we provide them and they raise thousands of queens from them to go into all their hives that then naturally mate, but you've got that underlying level um, of, of genetic material. Artificial insemination honeybees is not necessarily the, sim the simplest thing. Bees are rather small. Once we have our virgin queens ready for insemination, the first thing we have to do is to gas them with carbon dioxide. Um, this starts the process of their ovaries developing and it's believed this simulates um, their initial flights when they go out to mate or what we call the nuptial flights. Then once that's done, um, generally the following day um, or that afternoon, we then inseminate them. But first of all we've got to collect the semen. What we try and do is um, duplicate the natural process where a drone uh, averts the uh, reproductive organs into a flying um, virgin queen and by just a special way of squeezing the head and thorax to achieve the objective. A careful squeeze causes the abdomen to contract and the reproductive organs to pop out. The semen is very pale brown uh, sitting on top of a bed of mucus um, and we have to remove that using a pipette under a microscope. There's about one microliter of semen in the average drone. We then homogenise that semen so it's all mixed up and then it is injected into the queens. So the queens are again collected, um, they're put in a little holder and the semen is inserted very, very carefully. The most important things bees do for us is pollination. They pollinate our fruit trees, our vegetable gardens, our, our fruit crops, all sorts of things. In fact, a third of the food we eat has been pollinated by honeybees and it's, if you take honeybees away then you take all the colour off our plates. All those yummy extra things that we have like strawberries and blueberries are all reliant on honeybees for pollination and the honeybees also pollinate the clover in all our fields which fixes nitrogen in the soil. Um, they reckon if honeybees weren't there after 10 years without continual re all the clover in our fields would disappear. So those little busy bees are really important to New Zealand's economy.